from coming in in the morning to lighting the fire to pulling the meat out to rubbing the meat the, the whole thing is re it's really a zen thing for me i can go 10 12 hours off and it's like meditation hey y'all i'm sid evans i'm here at southern soul barbecue on beautiful saint simon's island georgia i'm standing next to pitmaster harris and sap these guys have won the South's Best Award for the best barbecue in the South three years in a row. And we're about to cook some ribs, right Harrison? All right, yep, we're gonna do some St. Louis style ribs today. So I feel like the, the, the real secret to getting the ribs right is the seasoning, right? So, right, right. So and tell me, how do y'all season them? Well, the rub we came up with, be honest with you, the whole thing getting my rub to where it is now was trying to get my kid to like it. That's really all I was trying to do. So. <laughs> So probably 60% of this is sugar, is a turbinado really? sugar yeah. and brown sugar, yeah. and then um, kosher salt and black pepper. When I use the, the garlic and the, the onion, I want it to be granulated, not powdered. I don't like to use any powdered stuff. I want it to be all granulated, so it, it makes just a way better bark and yeah. crust on it. Basically, we go ahead and put, I like to put them on the bottoms first, how long do you like to let them sit? For you know, at least 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna <laughs> pop them in the smoker at about 250 degrees for um, three to four hours. Now tell me why you like these St. Louis style ribs so much. They're so fatty. They have so much fat in them, you know, and they're, they're so much meatier. And any, anywhere you put fat and sugar together, it's, it's good. It's magic. You know, it's, it is magic, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what is the single biggest mistake that most people make when they're cooking ribs? Honestly, was not having an insta read thermometer. Yeah. I, I really do. And I like to tell everybody, you know, you don't really need to do it at home, but if you take notes, you know, and I mean, it sounds silly because most people just get drunk and go to barbecue, you know? <laughs> you know how to, what you're going to do every time. And that's what I did, um, getting all of my recipes right, is I took really good notes. So, so you want them right at about 200? I want them between 195 and 200. Maybe. Now, what do you want in terms of kind of the feel. You want to be able to take a bite out of them. Oh yeah. And leave the bite mark in it. You know? <laughs> kind of like that. Oh, that is so good. That's a Southern Soul barbecue rib right there. I mean, that is good. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. And this is an oiler out of Texas. So this is where the magic happens? This is where the magic happens. <laughs> what we got on here is wrap brisket oh. and butts. Man. How long are you cooking these butts? These butts are anywhere from eight to uh, 12 to 13 hours. I like to run this one a little lower than I was telling you over there. I like to run this one at 225 just because it's got all my big meat on it. Oh, okay. The big stuff, I like to cook it a lot slower. Are you doing the same kind of rub on the chicken? Same rub. I put the same rub on everything. I don't really change much because I want it to all go with the potato salad. Yeah, and, right. And yeah. the slaw and all right. that. So the all. rub is consistent. Yeah, it goes on. That's what's on everything. All right, Harrison. We cooked the ribs, and now they're here. <laughs> yep. Now we got a plate full of meat. So, uh, yeah, so give me the tour. What are, what are we looking at here? We got the St. Louis style ribs we cooked earlier. Yep. This is the pulled pork. We have a half chicken, and we have a little brisket that's sliced with a little bit of lean and a little bit of um, fatty. Now, Brunswick stew, this has got pork, turkey, um, brisket, corn, lima I'm just, beans. I'm just gonna go Tomatoes, in. absolutely. It's basically a barbecue soup. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Thank you. So y'all founded Southern Soul in what year? 2006 and we started in a little bitty coffee shop and um, we were only open on Saturdays. And I mean, it would take us all week to get ready for Saturday. You know? <laughs> now y'all had a pretty terrible fire. We did, we had a, um, about eight years ago, we had a fire and we just started to get to where we were getting busy. And it was, you could tell that it was gonna, and, and um, one Saturday at about 11 o'clock in the morning, we, it caught fire and we had to chase everybody out of the building. So we watched the whole thing burn to the ground. Oh. Less than an hour it took it. So everybody came together and um, they took care of us. I mean, they had fundraisers. It was, it really is, I mean, it gives me chill bumps every time I think about it. Um, but everyone took care of us 
and within six months, seven months, we were back open. Yeah, ever since then we made it. Really, our our goal is to just give back as much as possible. The um, we went to Tuscaloosa after the the tornado, and we spent four days in a parking lot feeding people there. Well, tell me tell me what it meant when you guys found out that you. Uh, won the South's Best Award. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> y'all, I want y'all to know, my whole life, I would go into, uh, my granny and papa had an office. There were stacks in this freaking magazine, man. They were they were as tall as me, they were everywhere. Southern living was freaking everywhere. If I could get my granny and papa to come back and see me, my granny would be so proud. You have no idea, it would be, She'd be so proud of me. I never heard that. I didn't get to hear that. Before. Well, don't ever stop cooking. Thanks, Sid. Appreciate that. <laughs> so we got one more thing that we do. We want you to sign our barbecue and a board. Oh, cool. How's that? <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Thank Harrison. Appreciate really it. Really enjoyed Thank it. You. <laughs> Man, I would never. You can't. I would never say that. <laughs> I'm friends with a lot of people. <laughs>